saying everyone it's very very important parents you are mother and the father but that's not enough you need to be leader in your house mom and dad has to be leader so you can deal with your kids issue now and prepare them for future these kids 10 years later, five years later, they will be 16, 17. If you fail mother and father today, you will pay the price when they're 16, 17. You might think what I'm saying, it's only just talk, but believe me, I've been teaching since 1977. So beautiful, these kids, breaking my heart when, I, when they get 18, 19 and see their mothers come and talk to me, their fathers, they tell me either they're jail or they're junkie on drugs. And in this age, you look at them very innocent, so beautiful. Believe me, sometime I go in the room and I have tears what I see at the past. I got a student. I got a student. I want to share this with you. He was so nice. One of my red belt, black belt, start growing. His father came to me and said, he's 12, 13, that's enough. He's going to do something else. He's going to help me. I don't want him to come martial art anymore. I said, this is the time he has to be here. 12, 13, 14. And he said, no, 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 no. I know my kid will be okay. He walked out. Three years later, I saw that boy. He was such a nice boy. Three years later, I saw this boy some cuts on his, on his face. I came out of the barber, hairdresser, he had a cigarette on his hand. As soon as he see me, he hide the cigarette. I did advise him, come back. I said, what's wrong? He said, I left home. I couldn't get along with my father, with my parents. Guys, this is the sad story. This boy, he was on drugs. I called mom and dad and explained to them, this is what happening. He's 15, 16, he's, a, he's only the son in, in the house. They say, oh, no, it's okay. My, and I said, you think your son might be on the drugs because they run away, they're with their friends. And they don't come and stay home 15, 16. They said, no, 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 he's all right, he's all right. I said, he might be on drugs. No way, no way. Year later, I was in auction, buying a car. Someone called me. They found him in his room dead. 16 years old. Because mom and dad denial. 16 years old, he was dead. Why? Because of the drugs. Please, parents, take seriously these things. Don't be blind it's happening around of us can happen to them too we will change their lives if they stay with us for a long time but you have to show leadership because time will come they're gonna tell you mom i'm bored I am bored then what will happen you're probably gonna take them some other places maybe swimming soccer or something else then he will be bored of that too then he's gonna file then he's gonna start on social media more go out and see friends more then he might find friends who lead them on wrong place wrong direction guys their life will change between you and us you show the leadership we're here to help you but we must work together. You can't just dump them and go. 
talk to us. If you have issue, talk to us so we can help you, so you can help us, so we can brought up good citizens, good students, good leaders. But what do, you, what do we need from you? Show the leadership. Don't be file parents. How the parents can file? Those parents, you know how they file? Those who think their kids, the best kids in the world, who they think their kids wonderful, who they think their kids never make mistakes, who they think their kids has to have eyes in the school, who they think their kids the best in martial art, who they think their kids never lies, those are the parents who files. Sometimes teachers give your kids eyes, so don't want to hear nagging from the parents. Because every time they get bees, parents go and attack the teachers. We had a families like that. Same thing here. So we must accept what I would teach my coaches if the students not doing proper kicks, don't reward them. Don't say good, good. If you can't do it, make sure, remind them that's incorrect. Because we want to motivate them, we can't say good, good. This is what we're teaching. We say PCP. What is that? Prize them, correct them, and prize them again. That's what the tactic we're using here. We don't go and say, this is incorrect, but we, what we say, hold on. What you do, you let go. It's good, nice, up, top. But this is what you have to do. You have to go this way. Same thing. You kids is not the best kids in the world. They're not pranks. They're not princess. Yeah, when they grow up, prince, princess, prince, princess. Oh, this is my princess. Oh, this is my prince. When they're 16, 17, you will dump them because they're 17. You're not going to guide them all the way. But because you are Holocaust parents, what will happen? They will file when they're 17 because no one to guide them. They try to do their best and they can't do it because you did everything. You solve their problems, you help them out, nothing for them. When they're 17, you dump them, they got anxiety and depression. Please, parents, be the leader. If they did, did mistakes, correct them. If they don't listen, punish them. Don't give them iPad. Don't, give them, don't let them school, uh, watching TV for one week. But when you say, I'm punishing you, you can't have iPad this week, you stick with that. If you don't, then you're not a good leader. Like these kids changes, we need time to change them. Like, did everyone, how many of us go in the gym, guys? I'm going to the gym, I like pushing the weights. Every time when I start going to the gym, I go in front of the mirror. That doesn't change nothing. I go lift heavier, come back in front of the mirror, doesn't change nothing. Why? I've been there for two weeks now, nothing changed. I got month, one month, nothing changed. Consistency is very important, guys. will take time, but eventually I'm going to change. Oh, I did change, but need at least a year or two. It's not going to happen overnight. So same thing with these kids. Give them a chance. Let them to get black belts. You will see they're changing. Psychologically, we teach them discipline, respect, respect other people, stay away racism, be good for your friends, respect each other, be nice, respect, polite. It's very, very important. Good manners. This is most important. Good manners. Don't speak to each other. Whoa, 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 like that. Always see if someone in front of you is like your mom or your aunties. Respect all this. And we want them out of the social media so they can have deal with their friends. How are you? How you been? How is your school today? Nobody wants to say these things. Oh, you need me? Oh, you got problems? How's your mom? Your mom was in hospital. Is she all right? Who is asking these questions now? Everyone on the phone, they don't even talk properly. You sit on the table, phone on the table. Phone rings, you straight away, you've got friends, you want to... Dinner with your friends, you're on the phone for five, six minutes. Friends said, stuff this, I'm not going to start with him. You have your friends doesn't want to come out, have dinner with you. Don't leave your telephone on your table. Put it silent, put it in your pocket, leave it there. 
enjoy your meal, talk to your friends, and be role model to your kids. Be role model to your kids. That's what I said, file parents. If you're not a good leader, you lose your battle because of your love. You're not a good leader, you will suffer. All my speech for the parents, not these kids, guys. Because these kids are innocent. Our mistakes cause problems for them in the future. Honestly. Honestly. 17, anyone got 17, 18 years old kids? And we all know 17, 18 years old who rough, don't respect anyone, they think they're little gangsters. How many we know? A lot. So if you don't want your kids to be like that, please prepare them for the future. We're here to help you. Don't say Jamal Hassan, Grandmaster, just talks. No, guys. I got nine grandchildren, I got six kids, and I, got, I taught 45,000 students. I saw a lot. A lot. I'm 62 years old, man. I went through a lot in life. So my experience I'd like to share with you. If you want to have issues with your kids, I can sit and talk, but don't leave it too late. I've got parents who came and said, I want to please look after my kids because he's on drugs. He's 17, 18 years old, probably he's on drugs for three years. I can't help. He has to go for rehab. Please, guys, keep them training. You won't go wrong. You won't fail. They have to go through difficulties now. When they're 12, when they're 11, when they fall, let them stand up. Don't jump. Don't let them, oh, well, you're all right, son. Oh, come on, come on, grab, lift him up. No, you stand up, you're okay. Tell them you're, they're all right. What will happen? They grow like that. I always say, all this shit happen in our life will be a fertilizer in future. Let shit happen to us. Let shit happen to them too. That makes them grow harder. Kids go difficult life, they grow stronger. Kids have wonderful life, when they 10, 11, 12, 13, in the future is a big problem. I saw that many in my life. Parents, thank you very much for listening. I see me as like your friend, uncle, baba, whatever you call, and take my advice seriously before too late. Thank you very much for listening. I am sincerely apologize if I offend you. But sometimes this is the way I talk to wake you up. Thank you, everyone.